Hey everybody, so we asked you on Instagram a while back what skills, products, business stuff you wanted to learn about and by far the most requested was how to sew fabric, a fabric liner into a bifold. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, we're using buckle I just started ca carrying, I believe it's Hallie Stevenson, Hallie Stevenson wax canvas products. Uh, this is a six ounce. They sell all the way up to like 22 ounce, which is what you'd make a bag out of the real thick stuff. I'm using the thin stuff because it's a bifold wallet. So we're using the green. This is about a yard of it, and I have cut off a little piece. This is going to represent our wallet exterior wallet shell, because besides that, there's nothing different than making a regular bifold wallet. The first thing we have to do is prepare our outer shell to glue in our fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is any burnishing, dyeing, anything like that on the top seam. We're going to want to get that done first because you can't do that once the fabric's there. So we'll throw a quick bevel on there. We'll, we'll throw a quick sanding on there. And just so we can get a little bit of contrast for the camera, I'm going to do my mixture, two thirds medium brown, one third dark brown Phoebings Pro Dye in my dye pen. Uh, this leather is Valdebrana. I believe it's a London tan, some, something of that nature. Um, it's a little thicker than you would use for a, wa a wallet, but I wanted it to show up on the camera because there's a lot of like just little tiny layers that we're trying to show you here. The nice part about this is this happens, that doesn't matter because we're covering it up with, uh, with fabric. So once we have, ooh, that, that was almost bad. Once we have that covered, throw a little token all on it. And of course you could go crazy with these edges, but this video is about lining with fabric. So we're just gonna do a quick burnish with some canvas. The nice thing about wax canvas, even at six ounces, is it performs a lot like leather. Now, back in the day, I used to do fabric lined wallets, and I do have to give the uh, caution that leather is going to outlast anything you use with it, as far as fabric is concerned. It might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, but I have had wallets come back where the liner had ripped or the inset had ripped simply because leather is such a strong material. So what I'm going to do is, I don't have, we don't sew a lot of fabric. Um, all we want to do is get a good crease in this that is straight. That's our only goal. It doesn't really even need to be straight, but it's nice if it is. So I'm just using a Sharpie. You can use, obviously, an iron. We're going to get that down. And I'm giving myself a little over a half inch seam here because what we're going to do is all we're, we're just gluing this right like this. So break out the bounties. Now it's glue time. I'm going to put my leather shell on top of the fabric. I'm going to give myself a rough quarter inch trim allowance. And we're basically the way I do it is I just treat it like a thin liner. That's basically it. Because what's gonna happen is, as we put the rest of the wallet together, all of these seams will be sewn together. And then once we do our final die, our die job on the end, you won't see this layer of green at all. Or you use green leather and it matches perfectly. So, if I can get this open. There we go. Got some barge cement here. And again, we're just going to treat the fabric just as we would the leather. We're going to cover this completely. Now this is one way to do a fabric lined wallet. This is how everyone wants to know how would you fabric line a bifold. Um, there are, we can, we'll do some videos on leather inlays. Um, I will flash up on the screen now some of the inlaid fabric wallets that I've done in the past. But again, I do want you to understand every single one of those wallets returned with the fabric ripped. So 
This is a really good choice because it's much better than using old grain bags and stuff. And putting it in a bill slot is a very smart decision because it is not kind of out in the wearer's pocket used and abused. Um, it's tucked away. It doesn't get exposed to the harshness that doing uh, fabric on the outside of a wallet does. For this, we're just going to kind of coat it. I like to do a little bit underneath here so that we can fold that in. And you need way less, this spreads way easier than it does in leather, obviously. And for a long time, I think it was just Martin X was the only wax canvas you could get. Um, and it was super expensive. This stuff is expensive, but it's really, really nice and it's much more affordable than Martin X. And it seems to be good quality. We just got a little piece shipped in from Buckle Guy as they do sponsor us and asked us to check it out. And it was so nice. I was like, you know what, let's, uh, let's do that lined video because I've never seen so many people ask for it. So this is how you do it. So we got some glue drying time and then we're ready to put everything together. So across the top and that will be basically how you add a material, a fabric liner to a wallet. Now that our glue's dry on both sides, we're going to attach the two. I like to do this where I'm putting the leather onto the fabric because I need to know that the fabric is right at the edge. I don't want it sticking over because that's going to be abrasive and that'll tear right away. Ideally, you want it like one millimeter below your leather. Then we're going to use our roller. Apologize, still haven't WD 40 would it. It's behaving today, though. And we want to get this tucked down now. Remember, this is wax canvas, so the bond isn't going to be that great um, until we get it all sewn together. But should be good enough. You can also use something like Ted's tape or the dots that Buckle Guy sells, those will stick all of this together no problem as well. And then we treat it like leather pretty much. I'm going to trim off all of the excess. And this is the six ounce, remember, this is not super heavy. I wouldn't want to do much more than six ounce in a wallet because then you get into the issues of when you fold the wallet, you get a lot of wrinkles on the inside and it just won't be comfortable to use. But if we flip it over, you can see we have just a tiny bit of leather protecting that edge. That edge will fray over time, but we have enough. So the most important thing is uh, my calipers are set to three millimeters. We want to make sure that that three millimeters, that our canvas is not set further than three millimeters down from our leather, or we're not gonna catch it in our stitching. I'm using five millimeter stitching spacing here. And I'm gonna angle in just slightly to make sure that I'm catching, because remember, we have two layers. We have that folded layer of fabric, and we wanna catch both of those layers. And then at the end here, sure, why not? We'll go to here. Flip it over, see how we did. And there you go. So that's gonna stay just fine. And we'll get a, I'm gonna, I'll throw a quick stitch in it. We'll come back. We'll uh, talk about it, bend it, see how it acts. And you guys will now know how to sew fabric into a leather wallet. As you can see, um, I'm sewing through two layers of six ounce wax canvas. So 12 ounces of wax canvas and about five ounces of leather prepared the same way I would prepare any leather wallet, and it's just like any other wallet. Um, really no big deal. And it sews nice too because the, uh, the wax canvas actually kind of waxes up your, your needles and it slides through really nice. It's all, it also might be, we're using some Valdebrana, which is pretty waxy and it's really nice to use as well. So once we have our stitch line sewn, we're just gonna do a normal clip and burn uh, wax is obviously flammable, but you, unless you're holding this thing over this for a long time, 
it's not going to ignite. On the other side, we have our normal wallet. So the last step is we're going to hammer down these stitches, which will also hammer down our liner. And we have a beautiful green waxed canvas liner for the wallet that we are yet to make. So a lot of the times, Kayleen is baguette pattern, um, you're going to want the canvas piece to be flat, and then what you're going to want to do is treat it as an inset so that you have leather piping across the top. And what that's going to do is prevent any wear or tear along the top, any abrasion, right? But it's still going to abrade here. So a lot of the times that's why you see leather bags with canvas linings. For example, instead of completely lining this bag in leather, I could have just lined it in canvas and it would have been the same bag, it would have cost a little bit less, it would have been a little bit lighter, and when you get into lining like that with, say, a little bit of a heavier ounce twill, um, that's where it makes the most sense to me to line fully leather-made things with canvas. However, um, I do have a couple leather designs that protect all of the edges of the wallet that should last a very long time, and we will have videos out on those or they've already come out, but this is probably going to be the first one because it does go through the positives and negatives of doing a bifold style wallet um, with a canvas liner. And I will put in here uh, pictures of the dozens and dozens and dozens of leather wallets that I made with canvas inlays and liners and all that stuff. All of those wallets look beautiful. Um, I am not ashamed to say they all ended up coming back to have the fabric replaced. Now, that does not speak to the quality of this canvas. It just speaks to the application in comparison to the other materials you're using. You always want to compare and make sure that all of your materials have roughly the same lifespan, or you make them repairable to the point where you can replace the, pe the pieces you know are gonna break, put something new in, like a zipper, for example, and the piece can continue to be used. So that's it, guys. That was uh, most requested in a long time, how to sew a fabric liner into a bifold. Um, that's it. You would put your bifold center on top. This is cut all the way out to the edge. You would sew through that. Sand everything down. If you have any, um, if you end up having any, like, I don't know what this, can you see that on camera? Like little fuzzies? Instead of trying to sand that down, I would just use a lighter and melt those down because it is wax canvas. And you have to remember the wax will melt, the canvas is cotton, so you're 50-50 on it. But it's easier than sanding it down. If you sand it down, it's just going to get more and more and more fuzzy. Um, but that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out Buckle Guy's brand new selection of wax canvases. It should really open up the market because there's been one company selling wax canvas in the U.S. for about 15 years. Now there's we have options. Um, the little that I've used of this, I've never used a six ounce wax canvas. It's really unique. Um, it's going to open up a lot of doors for linings and cool, really slim stuff. And remember, we will go into detail in more videos on how to use it, but this is one way to apply it. Just make sure that you are protecting your seams. You could also even sew a rolled seam over the top of this to protect this specific seam of this fabric. This isn't going anywhere. It's this seam that you have to worry about. So that's it. I think I already said this, but thanks so much. thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.